Yo, 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 man, this is your boy, North End Floor, man, back with a reaction review, review, man. And ever since they came with this James Webb telescope, you know, we've been seeing different galaxies. We just recently seen Jupiter up close and things like that. You know what I'm saying? We're getting full detail pictures and images of, you know what I'm saying, space and stuff like that. But, you know... You know, we're seeing things so close. Can we detect aliens somewhere? You know, can we look at this these particular planets like Uranus and and uh, these moons off of Jupiter that, you know, they're thinking that they could suspect life? Can we really see something like that? And since we're looking and we're seeing galaxies real clear, maybe we could look into our own galaxy. You know, and, uh, you know, the Milky Way galaxy, which has like billions of planets. Maybe we could look into our own galaxy and detect some stuff. So, you know, let's just check out what they're talking about as far as this James Webb thing, because it's getting spicy. <laughs> the first images released by the James Webb telescope have rightly earned headlines all over the planet. These breathtaking pictures show us the universe in literally a whole new light, revealing the cosmos in greater detail than ever before. And that's led to excitement of another kind, too with the watching world beginning to wonder whether this spectacular machine might soon lead us to first contact. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, will the James Webb Space Telescope finally discover aliens? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Launched in December 2021 and escaping Earth's atmosphere with such impressive efficiency that the projected lifetime of its mission was effectively doubled within the first few hours, the James Webb heralds a new age of space exploration. We've watched with glowing intrigue as the telescope has maneuvered itself into position almost one million miles away from Earth, and we've already passed some spectacular milestones. The magnificent unfolding of all of its parts, one million miles is not really like, when you talk about space, a million miles, that's nothing. Including the tennis court sized sun shield and the record breaking primary mirror have put some in mind of a great bird opening its wings for the first time. On launch, the web appeared a tightly packed cylinder of science and technology. But now that it's fully operational, it soars through space all that way away as a spectacular feat of engineering and innovation. So far, the mission has played out almost perfectly. The first five images were released by NASA at a global event Goodbye. presented by President Biden in July 2022. And finally, the world was able to see what all the fuss had been about. The incredible detail in the first image revealed thousands of whole galaxies that we've never been able to see before. That's and crazy. all within just a speck of the sky from our perspective with NASA crazy. explaining that what we were seeing amounted to only the area covered by a single grain of sand held at arm's length from the surface of the Earth. This one picture demonstrated the true size and scope of the universe better than anything else before it. There followed four more images released the following day. One intricately showcases star birth along the edge of a nebula. Another is a 150 million pixel composite of five galaxies interacting. A third reveals a nebulous explosion of gas and dust. And the fourth, an atmospheric breakdown of a faraway gas giant. And when it comes to the search for aliens, that last one might just be the most important of all. When I started my business in 2011, I chose Wix. And it was really because the aesthetic that... Man, okay about that Webb's shit. first publicly released atmosphere composition focuses on the gas giant exoplanet WASP-96b. This alien world was first discovered in 2013 and is positioned more than 1,100 light years away from us. It has just less than half the mass of Jupiter, and it takes just more than three days to orbit its yellow dwarf star. The crucial thing about it, though, is that there's water present there. And we know this with certainty thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Webb's view of space is so phenomenally accurate that it's able to detect even the smallest changes in the light and brightness of an object. Among other things, this means that, when it's trained on a targeted planet, it can determine the very molecules that exist within that planet's grasp, within its atmosphere. And in the case of WASP-96b, there's H2O, water. 
Of course, we know that the presence of water is one of the most promising signs of potential life anywhere in space, and also of the potential for human habitability, should we ever need to source the cosmos for another home away from Earth. At this stage... Yeah, but it, it rotates the sun every, you know, where it takes like 365 days for us, it takes three days. Shoot. So, you know, I mean, to break that down, like life, how long, how long does life last on that planet? It's perhaps unlikely that WASP 96B specifically will yield either ET life or a future human home. But the unparalleled study of it that Webb has already served up is a glimpse into an extremely exciting future. SETI, or the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has gained greater and greater coverage, influence, and importance over recent years. But arguably, we've never had anything quite... That reminds me of Battleship. The movie Battleship, we sent that signal out there, they came back, they did some research, they want to kick our ass, they want to, uh, they want to take over our planet. We got to be careful with sending stuff like that into the atmosphere, man, into the universe out there. We got to be careful because uh, is, is the government trying to create weapons just in case something like that? Or is that far-fetched thinking like, oh, we're, we're not worried about aliens coming to attack us? Well, we're sending stuff out there to welcome aliens, hoping that they're friendly. So we're just hoping that they're friendly. What if we send a message out there to aliens and they're not friendly? We're not prepared for that. You should always be prepared. So we need to be prepared. Quite like this to make SETI possible. With Webb, we can now gaze at planets and moons and see them not just as fuzzy, maybe destinations for a hypothesized alien force, but instead view them for what they really are. Now, if there are biosignatures for life on any given world, there's greater hope than ever before that we will find them. It's important to note as well that this isn't merely an indirect application of the James Webb data. The search for potentially habitable worlds and the origins of life is actually one of its official main goals. Along with gaining a better understanding of the early universe and of galaxy, star, and planet formation, over recent decades, and thanks to prior missions like the WASP and Kepler exoplanet searches, we've built an ever-growing database of confirmed worlds outside of the solar system. We also have a better-than-ever understanding of the true number of planets there likely are in the universe total, and it's in the high billions, perhaps even trillions. But until today, we've rarely gotten to know any of them in detail. That's all set to change in a big way, and quickly, thanks to Webb's superior vision. And that's before we even add into the mix various other next-generation telescope missions that are scheduled to launch soon, like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which will work alongside Webb to scour the cosmos. The famous Fermi Paradox asks, if aliens are so likely, then where are they? And perhaps now more than ever, we have the tech to deliver an answer. Predictions are that if ET life does exist, then Webb will find it and most likely via deep atmospheric studies, like that we've been given a first glimpse of for WASP-96b. Naturally, an upside to this particular approach is that any alien group that is uncovered wouldn't necessarily know that we know about them. Webb's sun shield may well be the size of a tennis court, but it's still a tiny prospect against the massiveness of space. This, then, is a SETI mission with almost zero cosmological footprint. So unless the aliens we potentially discover already know we're here, it's not as though we ourselves will be any more noticeable than usual. This is SETI at a safe distance, but we're searching in high definition all the same. It's not as though there won't be trouble ahead though. As we mentioned at the top of this video, so far the web mission has played out almost perfectly. It was long delayed before launch, but once it finally got off the ground, everything seemed to seamlessly fit into place. The pinpoint launch earned the telescope at least double its expected mission lifetime. While the machine reached its destination and entirely unfurled without anything going wrong. The first problem came to light in late July 2022, however, when news broke that a meteoroid collision had permanently damaged one of the panels that make up Webb's mirror. Now this in itself isn't critical for the mission. There are 18 panels total on Webb and one quite small impact to just one of them isn't expected to have too negative an effect. 
but it does serve to highlight just how hostile space can be once you get beyond the relative safety of Earth. X. And if a damaging meteoroid can hit within just the first few months, then how likely is it that the same thing will happen again and again until Webb is broken and bruised beyond working order? It's one question that... Okay, so they couldn't detect the meteor shower heading towards the telescope itself and kind of move it or position it, or the meteor field was just too big and you just had to hope that it wasn't going to get damaged. So what's up with that? You know what I'm saying? I know it took billions to create this. We don't have the technology to position it and move it to avoid stuff like that. You know, we didn't detect that coming. I don't know. That web controllers will now be under pressure to answer because with the mission costing a reported $10 billion to date, there's a lot riding on it continuing to go yes. well. Here's hoping that Webb does continue to function, because we definitely want many more images like the first ones released. And from a SETI perspective, we definitely need to see other worlds in as clear and clinical detail as we've now seen WASP-96b. Based on that opening image, we're in a position now to effectively map the That's water fire. in the universe, to follow the water trail to wherever it might take us. What's your verdict on the Webb's Earth? Yo, that was fire, that last little pick right there. Imagine just being like in a spaceship and you just, you know, you're just passing through planets and galaxies and stuff like that. That's like, that's dope. That's just unimaginable, bro. I don't know how close we is from achieving something like that. Maybe like a couple thousand years and stuff like that with technology be, being so advanced, but that's dope early stages and what are you predicting it will uncover in the coming weeks months and years could first contact with extraterrestrial life really be imminently possible if so then we're about to turn all those science fiction fantasies into a 21st century reality and we're on the verge of making probably the single greatest discovery in the history of humankind are we alone in the universe it's one of our most fundamental questions no. but an answer could just be around the corner all thanks to a gallant telescope one million miles away from home. And that's why Webb could finally discover aliens. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let I think there is aliens out there. I think they probably already know we exist. Um, I think our government already knows. I think they already seen stuff, which would be crazy. You know, I mean, you have these TV shows, you have stuff on YouTube that are showing pictures, that are showing videos and stuff. But if the government actually has true, uh, true like pictures and videos of aliens and stuff, dog, show us. Why are you not showing us, bro? Like that's crazy, man. And you know, it's it's, it's so much fake stuff out there. It's so much stuff that even if it was the truth, it'll be kind of hard to believe. You just don't know, man. But in my heart. I feel that as aliens out there, I'm down with the James Webb telescope. I just want them to focus more on planets that are in our galaxy <clears throat> than galaxies out there. We know it's billions of galaxies out there, for sure. I just want us to start focusing on a little more of what we have in our own galaxy, you know? So um, that's dope, man. And this is another reaction review, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's a tap in, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy, North End Floyd, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all be positive, y'all be blessed, y'all be easy. I'm out.